I've been thinking for a long time, you know what would help make society a lot more efficient? Right here. Check it out. If you go to a gas station, you get gas. Okay. And if we were to have laws in some places where you have to have a line open at all times to buy gas. Or you can't operate a motherfucking gas station. Okay. Because if if you have one fucking line, like some places now, a lot of times, you have one motherfucker, okay, who's buying fucking lottery tickets, fucking lotto tickets, cigarettes, like all this ridiculous shit, taking all this fucking time to do like, like scratch tickets and lotto tickets. And I'm watching this guy drive a fucking garbage truck down the road with garbage fucking dropping out of it onto the main fucking road. Wow. Okay. So anyway, and that's real shit. Like this isn't scripted, dude. I'm, I'm seeing this. This guy's dropping fucking trash out of his garbage truck. And I'm just like, wow. Interesting. So this fucking garbage, man, what the fuck, man? So as as I'm saying that, I'm driving and then there's garbage in the road in fucking front of me. So, <laughs> unfucking believable. <coughs> Excuse me. So back to the gas station shit. So why the fuck is it that when you go to buy gas, dude, you gotta wait for, for, for some asshole to buy a bunch of totally other unrelated motherfucking shit? Why? Why can't you just buy gas? Now, you're probably like Grove. You could use a credit card and you could just go to the pump and you could like do it that way. Yeah. But what if you don't want to fucking do it that way? What if you just want to pay fucking cash? Like, I don't know, other people. Um, yeah. Why, why, why can't, why can't a person just buy fucking gas? Like just buy gas, like just buy gas. It's a fucking gas station, right? So why don't people design gas stations in more places because I, I know you're probably like Grove. There are already places like that exist. Okay, well, that's cool. But um, where? You know what I mean? Like, like name the handful of places on in, in like North America where there's a gas station that, that exists, where there are no fucking chips, no goddamn fucking soda, no motherfucking lottery tickets, no, no, none of this other bullshit, right? Where? Which fucking place? And where you can pay cash. Where it's just fucking gas. No other item for fucking sell. Where? Name one. I'm sure there's some somewhere. It's got to be a place where they're like, all we have is gas, sir, ma'am. We don't have chips and fucking soda and goddamn cigarettes and lotto motherfucking tickets. No, we don't. No, sir. No, ma'am. We only here sells petrols. All right. Dude, why, why, why aren't there more fucking such places like this, man? Because, because you have you have these people from the old world, and they're like, oh, we're going to capitalize. We're going to capitalize. This dude wants to go 16 or 45. Have fun, buddy. Have fun going fucking 15 miles over the speed limit. That's your loss there, pal. That's your fucking reckless driving ticket, motherfucker. You want me to play along? I'm not gonna. So, you know, it's like you're doing the speed limit, and then you got some aggressive fucking driver, piece of crap, who's like, you know, and I'm just looking at him like, yeah, dude, I'm I'm already going the speed limit. So I see I see that you're really antsy, and and I see that you have a problem with me going the speed limit. Um, well, here, check this out, motherfucker. Since you see those things, do you see that there's also another lane that's totally open right next to you? Why don't you turn your stick and get in the other lane, you fucking piece of shit? Huh? Yeah. So he does, and then he goes 60 miles an hour in a 45. Which is interesting because it's highly fucking policed and it's a school zone. But, you know, stupid fucking people nowadays. Um, You know, you, you go to traffic court and then that motherfucker's there. And you're just looking at him like, you're a stupid motherfucker. Was it cool for you to go 60 in the 40 fucking 5? Huh? Were you so fucking cool? Yeah. How do you like the $3,000 ticket, motherfucker? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um... So, gas stations, right? So, the old way of thinking about it was that somebody's like, huh, I'm going to open a gas station. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to pack it out with a bunch of overpriced shit that you could just go down the street to the grocery store. 
I said grocery. <laughs> Added a few syllables extra there. Grocery. There's this dude with the fuck. He's dropping traffic. Or, I'm sorry. He's dropping fucking trash. I should tell him, man. I should ask him. Watch. Should I get him to roll the window down? This dude straddling fucking lanes, not even signaling. I should videotape this motherfucking asshole. I should, I should videotape this dude, man. He's looking at me all crazy and shit. He's driving a big ass garbage truck. I'm just kind of wondering why he's not, why he's not using his motherfucking lights to like. Here, I want to do it too. Look, I'm not gonna signal or anything. <laughs> this guy's a funny fucking boy. Hmm. Is, you can tell this dude ain't gonna be working at the garbage company very much longer. Yeah, dude, you're on surveillance there, pal. Yeah, crisscrossing lanes with the big ass garbage truck. You know, pretty soon the cops are going to fucking see you do it because there are hella undercover cops, dude. And you're just pushing your motherfucking luck until you get fucking ticketed, dude, for illegal fucking transitional lanes like you've been doing, like I've been watching you do. You don't have your fucking blinker on. You don't have your motherfucking blinker on. Oh, yeah. And did I mention you're dropping bags of fucking trash out onto the goddamn fucking street? Yeah. Wow. You're a highly trained fucking garbage dude. That's pretty fucking cool of you. Then you want to give me some stupid look? Like, yeah, I'm going to keep crisscrossing and straddling fucking lanes. Hey, dude. Yeah, until you run across a fucking undercover cop. Yeah, that pulls your fucking ass over. Okay? And has been watching you do the same shit like I just did. These people are fucking morons, dude. So anyway, back to the gas station shit. So, so, so someone's like, yeah, I'm going to invest in a box. That is a gas station box. And I'm going to have like little ice cream snacks. That, like if you were to go to the regular grocery store, they'd be like a dollar a piece on sale. But I'm going to sell them for like six dollars. Um, and then like I'm going to have like so many tobacco products and shit. And I'm like, yeah, well, why don't you just call it a smoke shop? Or how about a like gambling lottery fucking store? You know, because you're certainly do not really fucking focused on gas, are you? Right. So the whole thing is to go to a gas station, which is supposed to be a convenience store, right? It's a service station. It's supposed to be a convenience to you. Yeah, yeah, it's a convenience to buy a $6 fucking popsicle, right? Fucking idiot. Yeah, and it's a convenience to wait in line for some fucking Jake who's buying lottery tickets and lotto tickets and cigarettes and chips and all this overpriced fucking shit, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna wait. How many... I mean, how, how, how many, how many things of Gatorade are you going to fucking buy? Okay. Oh, wow. You bought a two liter from a gas station, dude. Okay. And some smokes and you need your lottery tickets and your lotto tickets and some fucking, I don't know, man, some tobacco shit, right? Doesn't really seem like a gas station at this point, right? Fuck you owners of places like that, dude, where you're fucking dickheads, where you motherfuckers do not provide an actual convenience, yet you claim to be providing a convenience. I'm tired of you motherfuckers, man, for real, straight up. Like, you're just fucking, you're just fucked up, okay? It's, it's fuckery, all right? It's straight fuckery, especially the fact that gas prices are high. So you're really not doing anyone a motherfucking favor. You're really not doing anyone a favor. So, so allow me to suggest I'm saying allow. I'm not really asking you to allow me. I'm fucking telling you that I'm going to say this shit right now. Okay? What society needs to do is somebody who's wise with money and fucking has the same vision that I do needs to just open some gas stations where nothing is sold there other than motherfucking gas. Imagine how many people would come to buy gas if they didn't have to wait in line. Hello, hello, dummy, hello, dum-dums, hello, dumbos who fucking currently run gas stations that are not really convenient service centers. I'm referring to specifically with your overpriced fucking gas and your overpriced fucking chips and soda and fucking cigarettes and all your bullshit. Yeah, now check this out. Now that I've made that abundantly clear in under 10 minutes, by the way, Thank each and every one of you for tuning into my show. Now that I've made that abundantly clear, let me propose another solution here to make society more efficient, more easily manageable. These grocery stores, how about, how about we start to create some laws to get rid of the management 
and the stores in our communities where there are one or two checkout motherfuckers and like 10 other goddamn lanes where those 10 other lanes could be fucking obliterated, knocked out, demolished, destroyed, crushed, removed, okay? And there could be self-checkout lanes. And not only that, not only that, but grocery stores that keep their self-checkout lanes open past nine motherfucking goddamn o'clock at fucking night. Oh, sir, sir, the thing is, we got to count the money. Really? Really? Drug dealers can take their money, drop it in the money machine, count it, and boom, they know how much money they got. The fuck you got to, oh, that's right. You got to go sit in the back. You got to go sit in the back and hide from the public and count a bunch of money that's going to, what, take you so long to count because it takes so long to count the money from the fucking day. That's weird. That's weird. You know what's fucking weird about you? Liar. And your fucking stupid company that's a broken system. Liars. Why don't you have money motherfucking machines that are self-checkout machines that count the money for you? Huh. That's weird. You got to go in the back and physically count cash? Why would that be? I thought you were putting it into a computer. Thought people were buying groceries. Oh, weird. Yeah, so in addition to the money that's already tabulated by the machine, you then have to go in the back and also, like, count some money again? That's kind of weird. You sound kind of Stone Age to me, man. You sound kind of fucking medieval to me. Your story doesn't really jibe with one Sir fucking Grove, okay? It's not a convenience that you're providing with your little sales and shit that you have at your fuckboy stores, right? Yeah, so you got self-checkout. Like one or two or three or four or maybe five or six. But you have like a million people trying to buy groceries. Knock out the goddamn fucking lanes where nobody works there. Or they tend to not be there for the most part throughout the week. Your story about, sir, sir, what do you want us to do? What do you want us to do? We're understaffed. What do you, we're under- well, let's see. You have millions of dollars in inventory. I've talked about this before. For some fucking dick-sucking reason of yours, you can't figure out how to hire people who want to work there. Probably because you're a piece of shit company and no one wants to fucking work there, for the most part. Except for people who are extremely, incredibly fucking either A, stupid, or B, desperate, in which case the latter is really fucking sad, and I feel bad for them, and you should be fucking incarcerated for crimes against fucking humanity. Straight up. Because you're running a modern day slave operation, dude. You got a grocery store, dude. People work late. People get off late. They work all hours of the day. Then they come to your multi-million dollar inventory story, a, a store, store, and your fucking story, your fucking worthless piece of shit fucking story is that your shit shuts down at nine o'clock or even 10 or whatever, right? Because you got to go and count the money. Go and count the money. Yeah. Fuck you. And your fucking goddamn fucking medieval shit. Okay? Your shit needs to be replaced by some shit that's highly fucking efficient. Okay? And if people out there are listening to this podcast and you agree with me, maybe someone might want to share this podcast with some piece of shit fucking store chain to let them know that we're in on their motherfucking bullshit fuckery and we're not having the shit anymore. Fuck those motherfuckers. My name's Oncer Grove. I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm the one addressing shit that these fake ass politicians aren't even fucking scratching the surface of. I'm a real leader and I stand up for the American people. My name's Oncer Grove. Thanks for tuning in.